While only about 3,000 people live in Montauk permanently, many people visit here year-round. Located on the eastern tip of Long Island, Montauk is known for its expansive white sandy beaches, fishing excursions right out of Montauk Harbor, hiking trails and wine tasting, and of course the wide range of excellent resorts and restaurants. Having grown up on Long Island, I've always enjoyed the feeling I get when I'm here with my friends and family. It's hard to describe, but it's like being on vacation with all the amenities, except you never have to get on a plane or even cross a bridge to get here. Although Montauk is a very popular weekend getaway from New York City, it's worth taking the trip no matter where you're coming from. In this video, we're going to show you some of the best places to go while you're in Montauk. We'll take you out to Montauk Point and fly high above the lighthouse. Walk through Montauk Village. Fly high over the Atlantic Ocean while looking down on the beaches. And see Montauk Harbor and Gossman's Dock. We'll also show you what it's like staying at Gurney's Resort and Spa and grabbing breakfast in town at two of our favorite spots. So, sit back and enjoy your trip with us to Montauk. Our first stop is at the Montauk Lighthouse, located in the Montauk State Park. If you take the trail just to the right of the lighthouse, you'll pop out onto the rocky beach near the bluffs. The beach here wraps around the coast, offering excellent views and a challenging hiking trail too. The beach is covered with rocks of many different sizes and shapes, and if you enjoy collecting them, this is the place to be. While swimming is too dangerous here, surf fishing is among the best in the world. The lighthouse and surrounding areas in the park offer sweeping views of the Atlantic Ocean where it meets Block Island Sound from the easternmost point of Long Island. On calm days, the merging tides and beautiful scenery are guaranteed to impress you. Native seals can often be spotted sunbathing on nearby rocks, and nature trails provide great opportunities for hiking. Visitors can climb 137 iron steps to the top and tour the beautiful grounds. The visitor center houses a gift shop and a museum exhibiting an extensive collection of maritime artifacts and historical documents. Visiting the Montauk State Park and touring the lighthouse and surrounding area should definitely be on your list of things to do and see while you're here. Our next stop is South Edison Beach, which is just a couple of short blocks from the village. As you can see, there are a variety of hotels and resorts to choose from. If you plan on coming in the summer, I suggest you book in advance since most of these places sell out quickly. The best deals are gotten off season and you should consider coming in the late spring or early fall when the weather is still beautiful and the crowds are gone. Montauk beaches rank among the top in the country. Great rolling breakers move in on miles of white gleaming sand. There's no boardwalks or development here and it's all natural. In some places, low rolling dunes rim the beach, in others you'll find high cliffs. Montauk is known for its spectacular 70 foot high bluffs which stretch all the way to the point. Bounce Beach is a popular new bar and restaurant located on South Emerson Avenue right on the beach. Along with the spectacular views from the upper level, it features brunch, lunch, and dinner, and a grab-and-go window for those looking for a quick bite on the fly. As we make our way onto the sand, you could see people setting up for the day with plenty of room to spread out and enjoy their own space. With average water temperatures hovering around 74 degrees in August, a dip in the ocean provides a refreshing break from the summer heat. Just down the road on the western side of the village, located on South Emerson Avenue, you'll find Kirk Park Beach. 
This is another beautiful public beach and features lifeguard protection, daily beach parking, beach access for your vehicle if you have a Town of East Hampton permit, and ADA accessible restrooms. The beach is open year-round with restrooms open mid-May through mid-October. There's free parking right across from the dunes if you have a Town of East Hampton parking permit. Otherwise, the beach parking is $35 per day, which you only have to pay when the lifeguards are on duty. Given the convenience, I think it's well worth it. Kirk Park Beach is open for swimming from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. when the lifeguards are on duty and within the designated areas. Our next stop is a short ride from town heading west on Old Montauk Highway to Gurney's Resort and Seawater Spa. Gurney's is one of the most exclusive places you can stay while in Montauk. There's no doubt that one of the major highlights about Gurney's is that it's located right on a 2,000 foot long private sand beach with direct access for all guests to enjoy. Lifeguards are on duty protecting swimmers during the day. The resort has 158 rooms, suites, and beachfront cottages, each delivering dramatic ocean views and access to the beach club. The beach club provides hundreds of lounge chairs and umbrellas lined in the sand which are reserved for resort guests. You don't need to pack much of anything for your day on the beach as the chairs, umbrellas, and towels are all complimentary. You can also order food and drinks and have them delivered to you without ever leaving your lounge chair. Just bring your sunscreen, favorite book to read, or music to listen to and you're all set for the day. The resort includes a seawater spa, which provides a wide variety of wellness treatments to make your stay even more pleasurable. There's also a well-equipped fitness center that includes weight and cardio rooms, and guests can enjoy complimentary workouts including yoga, water aerobics, boxing, Pilates, and more. While there's plenty of opportunity for quiet and peaceful rest and relaxation at the beach club, you also have the option for a more upbeat time at the beachside bar. DJs and artist performances provide entertainment every weekend around the bar area where you can enjoy sounds by the sea. Music is provided by an array of local musicians, DJs, vibrant artists and performers throughout the season at the beach club and fire pit. The Fire Pit Lounge is located on the upper deck overlooking the Atlantic and is limited to those ages 25 and older starting at 4 p.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. This is an awesome atmosphere where you can extend your evening under the stars for a genuine summertime experience. If you're looking for a memorable adventure fishing, you came to the right place as Montauk is famous for it. They claim to have more saltwater fishing records than any other port in the world. Located on Montauk's north side, the harbor area is home to the largest fishing fleet in New York State, both commercial and recreational. It's also home to shops, restaurants, hotels, and of course, Gossman's Dock. Montauk is the home port for some of the greatest sport fishing on the East Coast. You can charter a trip offshore for fish like shark, tuna, and marlin, or stay in shore for a more casual day and catch a selection of flounder, fluke, bluefish or striped bass. Party boats are available for the whole family and experienced captains and crew provide fishing gear and knowledge to get you into the action right away. You can charter either an inshore half day trip or offshore full day trip. Check with each boat for their seasonal schedule. The harbor provides a variety of restaurant choices. Salivar's Clam and Chowder House is a family-run dockside restaurant featuring locally caught seafood dishes. There's a sushi bar and roofside deck providing great views of the marina in this casual summertime atmosphere. There's also live music dockside from June until September, which will definitely add to the fun and experience you'll have. Right next door you'll find La Fin, which also has a relaxed atmosphere where you can lounge and dine outside as well. 
Their menu features French and local farm-to-table foods, which I found to be pretty expensive. Gossman Stock opens for the season in May and is a great place to admire beautiful Montauk scenery while dining on delicious local seafood. Founded in 1943 by the Gossman family, the small restaurant and chowder stand has grown to include a casual dining room, rooftop deck, cafe, and clam bar. The restaurant and fish market provide fresh seafood right from the dock and exotic specialty items are flown in daily. Shopping includes gourmet foods, clothing, and Montauk souvenirs. A summer concert series takes place on the outdoor stage on Sunday evenings in July and August, providing additional entertainment for the entire family. I suggest you save room for dessert and make a stop back in the village at John's Drive-In for some fresh homemade ice cream. There's typically a crowd there, but the fresh ice cream and huge assortment of flavors makes it worth the wait. Next up is a stroll through Montauk Village, which is a fascinating place to roam around. The cobblestone walkways are well maintained and feature an array of locally owned shops and restaurants. The village provides a clear and distinctive beach town summertime vibe. It's casual and comfortable, yet still classy and unpretentious. You won't find any chain stores here, and the shops provide a good mix of unique items and souvenirs. You'll find everything from local coffee and breakfast shops to miniature golfing and upscale restaurants which serve a variety of dishes specializing in freshly caught seafood of all kinds. While in town, we always grab breakfast in one of the many restaurants in the village. We enjoy John's Pancake House, and this is where, in an episode of Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, comedian Jerry Seinfeld told Jimmy Fallon that this was his favorite restaurant. Another favorite right across the street is Anthony's Pancake House. There's a more modern feel in here, and we like to sit right at the counter, and the service is always excellent. I found the food for both breakfast and lunch is always fresh and delicious. Just down the road on South Edison Street is Joni's Kitchen, which is another locally owned restaurant and a favorite of both locals and visitors alike. As we stroll through town shopping for things to view and buy, we notice that people of all ages are hanging out and just enjoying themselves. Whether grabbing breakfast or lunch, picking up groceries, getting fresh coffee, bike riding, or just enjoying the outdoors, people just seem to be happy and having a good time. Montauk in the Village simply provides a good feeling with an escape from the day-to-day -day grind and an appreciation of how fortunate we are to have this place to visit. One final favorite place to mention is the Clam Bar. Located outside the village a short distance down on Montauk Highway, the Clam Bar embodies the spirit of summer at the beach. Friends and families gather under the umbrellas at outdoor tables to relax after a day spent beachcombing or sightseeing. The food is very reasonably priced and simply delicious. Shorts and sunglasses are a required dress.